What's up, mothers? Welcome to Chill Source. I'm Bohemian Anthony. Nice to see you. As always, today we shall. What? One sec. Um. <sighs> um. Yeah, so um, I hope that went smoothly. <laughs> sure, that looked a lot better in my head than it actually did on camera, but whatever. Magic. Welcome to today's episode of the episode 19 of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series, entitled Yegishmesh! 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 Nailed it! Without any more talky talky, thank you for stopping by. Let's get straight into the episode in 3, 2, you know what comes next. Yu-Gi-Oh! is filmed on location with the men and women of the Domino City Police Department. I can't believe I failed. All I wanted to do was steal an ancient Egyptian artifact, oh, seize control bit. of a billion dollar company, and resurrect my dead wife. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for those meddling- Don't you even think about making a Scooby-Doo reference. What do you want, Bakora? Can't you see I'm feeling distinctly unfabulous? <laughs> I want your Millennium Eye, so I'm challenging you to a shadow game. But I don't have any cards. Cards? Where we're dueling, we don't need cards. <laughs> we're going to do battle with ancient Egyptian laser beams. This was so cool. I remember rooting for Pegasus for this bit. Hey, Pegasus, remember how I said I was going to kill you last? That's right, Bakora. You did. I lied. No, don't take my Millennium Eye. It goes so well with my outfit. <coughs> ah, that's the wrong eyeball, you fool. Oh, sorry. That's much better. <laughs> Bakura is evil as hell. Sorry. Hey, Croquet, what happened to Pegasus? Mr. Pegasus is feeling under the weather. He looks kinda dead. Well, he's not. Now excuse me, I have to go sandpaper my throat. I can't believe Pegasus <laughs> is dead. He died as he lived. Part of my daily ritual. in the arms of another man. Let's go snoop through his things. Man, that is one girl I'd like to play card games with. And by play card games, I mean have sex. Pretty. Look, it's Pegasus's blog. Reading this should allow the writers to fill in a bunch of plot holes. January 12th. Mood fabulous. Darling Cecilia, <laughs> I still remember the, the first, first day, day we met. You were the second most beautiful person I'd ever laid eyes on. The first was me, of course. Obviously. We fell in love instantly and decided to get married. Then, when we were standing at the altar, something very unexpected happened. You exploded. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of weird. In my grief, I took a trip to Egypt. Because that's what people do when they're grieving. They go to Egypt. Little did I know, my destiny was waiting for me right around the corner. Yagshamash, my name is Shadi. And in my country of Egypt, we no longer use slaves to build pyramid. Now we make women do it instead. It's nice. If you come with me, I will show you why I hang donuts from my ears. I followed him into an underground chamber filled with ancient artifacts. It's nice. Jewish peoples are always trying to come in here and steal my Millennium items. Since you are not Jew, I let you have this one. It will grant you the power to see into people's minds. It's nice. The Millennium Eye gave me the power to see into the world beyond. At long last, I was reunited with you, my love. I thought my dreams had finally come true, but then you exploded again. <laughs> you really need to stop doing that. <laughs> it says here that Pegasus found happens. a way to bring Cecilia back from the dead using the Millennium Items and Kyber Corp's virtual technology. Man, I've read fanfics that made more sense than this crap. Look, Pegasus must have released Grandpa's soul. This is super special awesome. Would you stop saying super special He's lurking awesome? around here somewhere. Stop being funny 15 episodes ago. Oh, you did not just <laughs> say that. Get back here. Nobody disses my catchphrase. Huh? What the hell's going on? There has been a great disturbance. Someone has stolen a Millennium item. It was probably this little Jew boy. He must be hiding his horns underneath all that hair. I will use my Millennium Key to probe his mind. <laughs> Just give me a minute. 
The Jew's mind has been divided into two separate chambers. One looks like it belongs to a little boy, a very untidy little boy. If he lived in my homeland of Egypt, he would be stoned to death for his insolence. <laughs> this other room is very mysterious. It gives me funny feeling in my cram. Who the devil are you supposed to be? Yag Shemash, my name is Shadi. I'm here Shadi. to persecute those who would steal my Millennium items. Um... Okay. I like you. Do you like me? No. Look, I didn't steal anything. But if it'll set your mind at ease, then have a look around. By the way, have you ever seen Labyrinth? No. Why? No reason. Full of traps. It's a trap. <laughs> Full of traps. Trappy trap. Trappy trap. Don't worry, I'll save you. This little boy has saved me. Perhaps he is not as Jewish as I had first suspected. What is this place? 5,000 years ago, Egyptian kings played a game of great and terrible power. These shadow games Don't were played with real monsters and real magic. But these games Summon erupted stone. into a war that threatened to destroy the world. And so all the monsters were locked away inside these stone tablets. Are you trying to tell me this show actually has a plot? Oh no, you have angered the dark magician. <laughs> Our only hope is to summon the blue eyes white dragon. No, don't. Why not? That's Kaiba's monster. I'm not gonna let myself get saved Why by not? that. Dark magician, you are not a gun. You are who you choose to be. Now choose. Wow, wow, we were. This little boy and his obscure movie reference has saved us both. He must be the one the prophecy spoke of. I apologize for screwing with your head. It turns out that you are the chosen one. Now I must return to Egypt, even though I have not found the one who stole my item. Remember, the fate of the world rests on your tiny little shoulders. Tinkwe. Mokuba, <laughs> can you hear me? Wake up. Uh, who the hell are you? Are you the angel of death? Aw, oh, isn't that cute? Maybe. Mokuba thinks he's dead. Yugi Moto, you are now officially king of card games. As winner of the Duelist Kingdom tournament, I bestow upon you this extremely girly card. Also, here's three million dollars. Yoink! <laughs> now you can pay for your sister's operation. Screw my sister, I have money. You each have five minutes to get off the island before we release the hounds. Big brother, where are you? I'm starting to develop abandonment issues. <laughs> oh, face it, kid. Kaiba never loved you. Uh, Seto, Savagery. it's you. And you're smiling. Oh. Uh, <laughs> stop smiling, big brother. It's really creepy. Kaiba smiling? That's the most disturbing thing I've ever <laughs> seen. Whenever Kaiba smiles, a puppy dies. Yugi, because of the circumstances, our last duel was not conclusive. Perhaps the next time we duel, we will finally learn which of us is truly superior. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the king of card games. And besides, I already beat you in the first episode. What's your point? My point is, you're never going to beat me. So just get over it. I hate you so much. Come on, Mokuba. We're going to have our own tournament with Blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the tournament. Well done, Yugi. Can we I... saved the world. And more importantly, we rubbed it in Kaiba's face. Yeah, by the way, who the <laughs> hell are you? I have had many names. Once I was known as Pharaoh. Then I was known as the artist formerly known as Pharaoh. But you can call me Yami. I thought your name was a Tesh. Shh, don't spoil it now. I just realized. Now that the tournament's over, we have to go back to school. No! <laughs> I feel your pain, Tristan. Not now, but... I think I'll always feel that pain in my soul. It's me DJing. Stop! Never! Okay. <laughs> Someone fetch a bedpan! <laughs> oh, too late. Oh, no. Can we just quickly cut back? <laughs> cut back! Stop! Never! Man, I could do that all fucking day. And night. Oh, quickly! Um, I'm having too much fun here, guys. Have an awesome... Uh, I, hope, um, I hope you're all... Um, guys, thank you.
Stay on awesome.